Welcome back, Western Slope, and welcome in. It is 546 on this terrific Thursday morning. I'm Josephine Sage. Let's get into the forecast right now. If we want to take a look at America's Mattress Live Tower Cam, we've still got some clouds hanging over the Grand Mesa, and we did have a full moon last night, so that means it's going to be a little bit brighter on your morning commute today. Now, with that, the, these clouds are going to stick around with us for the rest of our day and through the end of the work week and even into the weekend and into the early work week. If we want to take a look at our weather headlines, showers, uh, scattered showers along the Colorado and the Utah border expected for today. We've got drier airs moving in towards the end of the work week and cooler at the end of the week. Temperatures are anticipated for us here on the western slope. Now it's been raining and in the past 24 hours we're looking at 0.14 inches in Moab, about a quarter of an inch in Grand Junction, a little bit more than a quarter of an inch in Rifle, but further east of us and even down south we didn't really get too much rainfall, but this weekend folks we've got another round of storms coming on through and in those higher elevation areas we even have a chance for some snow heading our way. Now for just the next 10-15 minutes we do have a winter weather advisory, but just because that goes away at 6 a.m. does not mean that the ice on those roads are going to go away. I want you folks to be careful out there driving with those wet and icy and even slushy roads headed our way towards the western slope. Now that reminds me winter is just 13 days away. Please, I've said it so many times, but please make sure you're being safe on those roads, especially in the early morning and the late night hours. If you've got travel plans to go anywhere on Highway 6 and 50, I-70, over the mountains, and even in those higher elevation areas, those roads uh, could be quite scary. And if you find yourself in a roadside emergency, I want you folks to be safe out there. Now, if we want to take a look at our current temperatures, 31 degrees in Grand Junction right now, 32 in Montrose. Further east of us, we're looking to even be a little bit on the cooler side, 28 degrees in Grand Junction, 20 in Aspen, and 25 in Gunnison. Now, throughout the day, those temperatures are going to rise, and we're going to be just a few degrees short of our seasonal average. We're looking at 39 instead of our typical 41, and on the low end, we're looking at 31 instead of 20, only an 8 degree range when it comes to the temperatures today, um, and that peak is going to hit us just around 1 to 3 p.m. Now, our state radar is going to show us that we do have uh, some of those clouds that are finally moving on out further eastward of us and we're going to have some clear skies on the way if we want to take a look at our future cast uh, that was so quick and those rain clouds uh, moved on out of the western slope and we're just going to have uh, a little bit of uh, some rainfall over by Salt Lake City but here on the western slope we're going to be seeing clear skies up until around Sunday now if we want to take a look at our little bit more nationally we do have some drier airs that are hanging out but we do have a low pressure trowel that's headed in from the west coast quite soon and it's going to hit us and it's going to bring us some cooler temperatures low pressure system and a chance for uh, some precipitation with that low pressure if we want to take a look at our national radar we do have this set of storm clouds that's kind of hanging out uh, in the northeast corner of uh, the United States right now. And in just a couple of days, uh, that storm system is going to hit us here on the western slope. I wanted to show you our extended forecast. We're looking to drop down into those uh, low 20s for the weekend and have that chance for those storms that's headed up from the northeast corner. And even in the middle of the work week, we're going to drop down to those teen temperatures. Now, Montrose has that same kind of temperature trend, even dropping down to those teen temperatures through Friday. Friday and Saturday with the chance of storms in the beginning of the work week. So folks, this uh, past couple of days has been raining. That means there could be some fresh powder on the slopes. And if you haven't had a chance to get up to the slopes, definitely head up there this weekend. This cooler weather and fresh powder is going to make it worth it.